Mickey's Mouse Trap. We've got in 4K uploaded. I'm going with Madam Web winning best pick. You heard it here first. Mark it down, please. If I'm right, I am awarding myself my own Oscar. Thank you. All right, so. Wait, there's like a there's a horror game one too. It's Infestation or Origins. Um. Anyway, Mickey's Mousetrap uploaded by Simon Phillips actor in 4K. Presumably an actor or the director of the film. We don't know. The first ever live action Mickey Mouse comedy horror. Ew, comedy really? Because like a bad a bad horror can sometimes be funny, but a bad comedy is never. These are the best party that we can throw. Okay, I'm pissed that my computer's fucking dying. What am I do? What do I do to figure out what's making my computer die? And before you'd say it's the 4K, it is not. It is it is being slow as shit and having troubles regardless of 4K. I thought it was like maybe just my mouse that was an issue. I don't know what's going on. My computer used to run fine. But it's now my computer is running slow and my phone and my other computer. And I don't know if I'm being spied on by the Chinese government. <laughs> These are the best party that we can throw. <laughs> this looks so far a little more competent than the Winnie P the Pooh Blood and Honey trailer. Like that looked like barely a movie, whereas this looks like there was a production of some kind. Projections of my time, but man, that was a little much. The audio sucks. Put some trailers in your fucking. Uh, sorry, put some credits in your subtitles. So put some subtitles in your trailer. My brain is dying. My brain is dying. I might actually have some sort of issue. Uh, put some subtitles in your fucking trailer. I might have a neurodegenerative disorder. I have no idea what's going on. But man, that was a little much. Can't hear you. This music sucks. There's blood all over the jungle gym. Blood. Yes. 1985. Way before Nirvana. It's basically what it sounded like. So the movie is in the movie. <laughs> I... I hate this. <laughs> yeah, he's like completely in love with me already. It's totally... The film reel. It's scarier because it's a film reel and not someone just played it on YouTube. Disgusting. Put the phone down! Put the phone down, please! I was like, dude, I'm already stuck. Okay, this is very childish. This is very childish and incompetent, which is generally what we've seen from, oh, it's the IP is in public domain now. I got to make a horror movie right away. And they get a trailer out within like a day. It's like, okay, well, they probably shot all of the trailer shots first and will make the movie around what the trailer shots were. <laughs> they probably just wrote the trailer and filmed it, and then we'll make a movie around that. I'll be right back. <laughs> and he's dead. What? Like if he was in a horror movie, he'd never say. I hate this! Oh my god. The attempt at fourth wall breaking. It's meta. It's meta. It's self-aware. We're allowed to be bad. I'll be right back. Because then you don't. How does the audio suck so bad? It still looks better than Blood and Honey. 
<laughs> Which, I mean, is maybe the lowest bar to clear. All of this is that Shane Dawson. Lock your cats. Hide your cats. Where the hell did he go? Sorry, he's too skinny to be Shane Dawson. <laughs> Mickey's Mouse Twat. A movie for Wenegades. Hashtag the mouse. East out. <laughs> That's a bad hashtag. The mouse is out. That looks really, really bad. I will say, I will say that it's very funny that like the day that Steamboat Willie became public domain, everybody celebrated by doing things that were already fair use. Like people would post on Twitter, like this is a dumb cartoon and like make a parody of it. And it's like, Okay, well, parody is like one of the strongest protections you can have under fair use. So nothing changed. You could have really, if you wanted to do a parody, you could have released that at any point. This maybe not so much because it's just like, oh, it's the character. There, there's no commentary to it. It's just, oh, the character is doing a thing. Hey, everyone. Olivia here. Thanks so much for watching the video. It's January, so let's read off the first Patreon credits of 2024. My $5 and up patrons are Brock H, Clarice Carlson, Tyler Cukes, Nico Fuentes, Joel999, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, Silverwind, Toby White, Scott S, Joan of Fart, Skinot On, Happy the Knife, Coolest Shirt, George Salazar, www.openclassactions.com, Emil, Blank, Judum the Kinslayer, No Rope, T King, Saliv88, Electrica is an ordinary bad gamer, Yup, 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 Caden Mack, Charisma, the Super One Player, Zachary Kane, Gillyflower, Purple Fire, Gabriel Herrera, and Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Thanks so much to everyone who has supported me in my channel. I also just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of the really kind and supportive messages that I've been getting from a lot of viewers. When I started YMS Highlights, I didn't have the highest opinion of myself. I took a more silent role in running the channel and kind of avoided inserting my own humor into my videos too often because I thought, you know, people would find it annoying, but surprisingly I was wrong. I got so many comments complimenting my little editing gags and editorials. It made me feel a lot better about myself. And when I came out as a trans woman, I got so many kind and supportive words from all of you that made me feel accepted in a way I hadn't felt before. Also, I've just gotten a lot of nice comments uh, regarding the design of my little uh, talking avatar here that my friend Sunnyfolf made for me. I initially just created it for streaming, but decided to include it in videos to help you know, newer viewers figure out that this channel is run by someone else and not Adam. Although I don't think it helped much, I still get comments from confused viewers who think I'm Adam. But I got so many comments from people complimenting the design that it caught me off guard. Even if some of y'all are a bit too focused on one specific aspect of my avatar's anatomy, but it's fine, I don't blame you. It's a fair reaction. <laughs> anyway, um, when I started this channel, I genuinely didn't like myself. I thought I was a very pathetic and annoying person. But you guys have just been so supportive and accepting of me that I'm actually starting to feel way more confident about myself than I used to. 
I will never be able to thank you guys enough for saving me from my feelings like that. You guys are all amazing people. Take care, all of you.